Which one of these contestants do you think has what it takes? What's up, buddy? What do you do? What are, I'm an ERT, so emergency response team lead. I'm deployed in Northern California right now, so. So what is that? What is ERT? Basically, it's uh, we're, we're contractors, private contractors. We provide EMS and security services for a, a larger energy firm that provides power throughout the state. So anytime there's any any type of disaster or power outage, we get deployed there and we protect person and property. So why do you want to do this? Well, I, uh, I have a background in homesteading. I, I lived in California basically my whole life. Uh, and then I started to see that I didn't want to be in California anymore, around 20 years old or so. And I, I fled California and started pursuing homesteading in rural Missouri. Um, make a long story short, I networked with a lot of people out there um, and learned a lot of different methodologies from square foot gardening all the way out to like permaculture, more advanced stuff. And uh, my dad got sick in California, and so I had to come back here about two years ago. So you're going to miss that excitement? No, I, uh, I, if I could, I would be away from this. You know, I, I got to, like I said, I have kind of a background. I, I networked with a lot of people in Missouri. Uh, for three years, I lived off grid. We had created this prototype for one person. I saw a need for, in my opinion, a prototype to simplify all these methodologies. Whose PDC did you do? Uh, Jeff Lawton's. It was the first online course that he ever provided. I was talking so, about Jeff Lawton this morning, as a matter of fact. Yeah, and then, uh, um, you know, I really appreciate him. I appreciate that course. Uh, the question that I had throughout that course was, how, how do we meet our, our caloric needs simply? And how, how much food are you growing? Like at Zaytuna Farm, like his prototype, I was like, how much land does it need for each apprentice? If that makes any sense. Like how much land do they actually need in your geographic region? What's the What's footprint that? for that? What's the footprint for that for four people? Well, the, the, half an acre for the one person prototype. Now, I, I know for a fact, I've seen it firsthand, that there is prototypes right now, vegan prototypes, 4,000 square feet. 40 grow beds, five by 20 grow beds. So I know that you can even get it down smaller, but I'm not a vegan. And I don't <laughs> think you guys are vegans either. But yeah. I think that wouldn't it good design, wouldn't it good design have the capability to meet all your vegan caloric needs, all your vegetarian, lacto-vegetarian needs, all your paleo needs. So there's redundancy built in design. So not only are, do we have the capability to meet the vegan need, we also have the capability to meet the heavy meat and potato guys need. So we could cater to whatever the preference is. I don't want to tell you what you can and can't eat. Hello. Hello. Who are you? Uh, Adam. What do you do? Um, well, I work for uh, the Housing Authority. I'm maintenance and general property management for six properties in my city. Crack houses? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Got it. Got it. I bet you've seen some crazy shit. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous some days. You know? Is that a gas mask right there? Uh, no. Where to we, the other where side. We? Other side. Hanging right up there. Right by your head. No, uh, that's my uh, harness. It's uh, like a holster jam. Got it. Got it. What's the flag back there on the wall? Um, that's my house. I do armored combat in the SCA, and that's the, the knight that trained me. That's his house motto. That's fucking cool. <laughs> right on. Have we met before? Yeah, I was at SRF last spring. Got it, with Bear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's who I thought you were. What do you go by as on YouTube? Uh, Quillen. That, okay, got it. I know who you are. Got it. That's who I thought right. you were. What, why do you want to do this? Um, I mean, homesteading's the, the end goal of prepping, right? And... I mean, my whole life has been bushcrafting, hiking, camping. You know, I went to school out of campgrounds. It's always been outdoors, but I don't, you know, this is my empire, my little one room. I need property. I need to make moves. I need, I got a family that I need to build. I got, I got a, I got an empire I need to build. I can't do that out of a bedroom, you know? And uh, I just know that there's, there's people out there that have a lot of knowledge to throw out. And I am a sponge. I'm willing to take it all. How's your leather work going? Actually, pretty great. I um, I've got some. I got some developments. Again, it's this is my shop. This is my bedroom, my shop, my everything, my workout area. So 
most of my leather working gets done in my stupid bathroom, you know, but it is what it is. We, we make do. You've seen my property. So yes, if we cut out a quarter of the back here and we gave you a quarter acre of this property to do whatever you want, what was the first things you would do with it? What, what would you do? Probably build a workshop first things first. What about food? I mean, How you gonna feed yourself? Well, uh, you know, I'm a pretty good gardener. I got a garden here in my little urban stead, but I've definitely been hungry before. I know what that is. So I don't like being hungry. You know, um, I always find a way to, to, to cover myself. And 22 years in, in the culinary industry, the last 11 as a chef, I'll definitely, I'll, I'll make something happen. So why are you not working in the culinary industry? I left it. I left the culinary industry for, I was in Salt Lake City when, and I was trying to, you know, make moves as a chef. And if you're not Mormon, you don't work there. And my roommate was in, um, does film. And I started doing film with him. And so I left culinary for film. I did film for the, for the last 10 years. So you don't really want to do this then? Oh, hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. And I've, and in, in a year, I think I've done actually quite a lot. I'm having this conversation with you. Yeah. I have no idea. Only you know no. that. No, from what, from where I was a year ago to today, man, I'm leagues ahead of myself. Cool. Honestly. Honestly. Cool. So what, what do you bring to this program? Um, well, I mean, not only do I have a foundation of doing the right thing the right way all the time, um, I don't, I don't take shortcuts. I don't, I don't mess around. I mean, that's the, that's, that's why it takes me a long time to do things because I don't take shortcuts. I think my way through everything and I've, I've got engineering background. I've got a creative background. What's your engineering background? Um, I did grip for film for 10 years and that's um, safety department. You're building rigs for cameras. You're building all the structures for, for the film. I also have about seven years to do an IND industry, which is building trade shows. I worked for Columbia and I worked for 3M building their trade show booths. What do you do? Oh. I'm a veterinary technician. Okay. So, so what's that? What do you do? I'm, a, I'm an animal nurse. I work in an animal hospital. So what'd, you, so, what'd you know, your day look like today? Oh, today? I'm um, in work at seven, um, mostly assisting patients, you know, getting lab work ready, that kind of stuff. And, you know, restraining patients and that, that kind of thing, dealing with the clients. So, you know, phone calls and texts and all that kind of, all the shenanigans of medicine in general. Have you ever worked with bigger animals? Um, in school, but otherwise, no. I'm not objected to, I, I don't, have a problem with doing it i just do not have a lot of experience i can do it but you know but i don't have a lot of experience does your clinic there work with exotics we do not no i've been primarily dog and cat for for a long time cool so, so why do you want to do homestead apprentice um there's a well there's a variety of reasons um but a lot of the stuff that you've been talking about because i've been watching a lot of your lives and stuff and um a lot of the stuff that you're that you're talking about first of all you're like giving great business pointers which is not related to the to the homesteading stuff but it, it kind of is but um a lot of the skills you're talking about i don't know how much you remember my video but i've been living in the country in a trailer for about a year now and i lived in the city for my whole life prior to that and it's it's a night and day difference and um i the idea of having i've always talked about having land in the country and stuff and i never really Thought it was realistic but after being out here for being out there for a year it really is nice and a lot of the things you were discussing and stuff that i've had to deal you know dealt with like putting stuff up and like clearing the land like we were talking about you know first aid kits for chainsaws and stuff and i don't have a lot of experience with those either and that's something that i never like practically thought of and i try to be the guy that is prepared for most things so that's that's some of the reasons and also because on a not really real, kind of related to it no like your business i have aspirations to do a business making bags as well and your business model is really really interesting to me because you talk to people all the time and you take in what they tell you and you you know you work that into your products and on the but on the same note like you know what works and you don't there's no baloney about it like you know what stuff works for you and you know what um 
will work for the for the customer to be you know depending on what they're what they're looking for. So what kind, what kind of sewing machine you got? It's an old Singer, like a maybe from the twenties or thirties. I found it in the trash and I brought it someplace to have a to have a get it running and it's it's running but and it'll sew because from what I understand the old machines will sew through pretty much everything but. You know, it's very old, and at the time, my trailer, I don't have a ton of room. That's another issue I'm having, so. Could you give me sutures if we had to? Yeah. No problem? Yep. If you're comfortable with it, I have no problem with it. Internal? Probably, yeah. I, that, would be, that would be interesting in the field, but I don't see why not if we have the proper stuff. Okay. And even if we don't, we can if we have to. What kind of vehicle you got there? Uh, O2 F350. All right. Four-wheel drive? No. Okay. Can you juggle? Yes. <laughs> can you really, really juggle? How many balls? Three. I can do three, three. proficiently. I don't know about. Five. I've never done five or anything, but three. Yeah. Man, I'm always surprised. There's, I can't juggle, but fucking every time I ask somebody, they're like, "Yeah, I can juggle." Try not to tell.